Hey, what's good, family? Before today, the spy looked like it was making its way back up, but but after today, I'm not so sure. The spy could have a lot further to fall. In this video, just want to focus on the spy, take a look at the charts, and see what can we see. All right. So those of you wondering, this platform that I am currently using, this is called Trading View. Uh, this platform is free to use. It's available on your phone as well. So if you are interested in signing up for Trading view, I will have a link down below in the description, but you can also just go to the website and use that as well. But going on, uh, we took a look at this earlier this week. This is the SPY. This is an ETF representing the S&P 500. And each one of these candles represents one week of time. All right. So if we were looking at this week and how we're doing, the week opened up right here came and is currently right here, but it has gone as high as right here up at 554, just under 555, and came as low as about 538. So taking a look at this, uh, what is this telling me? All right, so first off, we can see that going back to October 23rd, there has been a trend established. All right, we have been in an uptrend. We are still technically in an uptrend on the weekly chart and the uptrend just consists of higher highs and higher lows. So we have a low, we have a high, we have a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. But the question is, when is this going to end? All right. When is this going to end? We are touching this trend line the third time. We've kind of spent a little time below the trend line. So now this is what we see on the weekly chart. Ideally, we will want to continue the trend or see the trend reverse here and head towards new highs as it has been in the past. Like, uh, for instance, this week right here, close right here at the trend line. The next week was back up pretty strong. So we'll have to see how this plays out. But trying to figure out what's going to go on right here, we're going to have to take a look at the lower time frames. So dropping down to the daily chart, let's see if we see anything. All right. So looking at the daily chart, uh, some things that catch my eye. There was there's a gap to be filled right here on the daily chart. Maybe uh, closes about 537. This right here at the bottom of this 537.50. So this might be a possible gap. Let me see if. Yeah, we got the smallest gap right here. So to me, so so to me, there might be a gap that needs to be filled. Not sure if it's significant enough, but that's there on the daily chart. Uh, there's also this gap to the upside that needs to be filled up here to 562. So the market needs to do it all. But on these higher time frames, it can take however long it wants to do these things. Dropping down to the four hour time frame. So actually to start the day off, I recently took it down. This is the second time I had to make this video because the first time I had no audio. Coming into today, I had this trend line drawn on the SPY. And then yesterday we broke above it and it looked like we were in the clear. If you watched my watch list this morning, you saw that I mentioned there was a demand zone or there was a supply zone up here and it's possible we could sell off from it. And looking at the day to day, we came up here, we tapped in the demand zone and we pretty much have been selling off or we tapped into the supply zone up here and we have pretty much been selling off since. All right. Looking at the 15 minute chart, the stock market opened right here on this candle, had a fake out to the upside. And then today, nothing but selling. And now on these time frames, you can see that this line that was holding up his support is now holding up as resistance. So looking on the four hour, this doesn't look good. We got a high, we got a low, we got a lower high, but we have a higher low right here, but we haven't finished making our lows yet. The question now is, are we going to hold up? Uh, is this going to hold up? As of right now, I'm not too convinced that we're going down yet, but if we wake up in the morning or if we 
spend all day below this tomorrow. That can lead to us closing below this trend line, which could lead to more candles coming below. If we go take a look at history, the last time this happened, last time we broke the trend line, we had a break of the trend on the weekly here. We had a little break right here, kind of closed positive, but the next week, we close way below. So, and we went from up here being at 462 to the next, next week being down here at 460. So where we are now, there's no telling where we could go if this week closes out negatively. And right now it's not looking the best because on all the lower time frames, the four hour, we are below this trend line, the one hour, we are below this trend line, 30 minute, pretty much everything, everything below the daily chart. We are trading below this trend line. But one thing I do want to say about the daily chart is, is we did close respecting the trend line. So we have that going for us. This trend has been going since October of 2023. And the question is, will we hold up? All right. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it until... If we end up breaking below this 539 level, I don't think we're done. But I want to know, how do you feel about this in the comments? What do you think the market's going to do? Let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to check out the Moomoo referral link down below in the description. Right now, when you sign up and make a deposit using that link down below in the description, they're offering up to 20 free stocks when you sign up using that link. So be sure to take advantage of that. If you enjoyed the video and learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.